What can you do that's exciting in 15 minutes? With your clothes on. Make salmon patties. Here is all you need to make my quick and easy salmon patties. A can of salmon, a slice of whole wheat bread, some onion, red pepper, parsley, and an egg. And that's how simple it is. Okay, here's how I do it. First of all, I'm using a seven and a half ounce can of red salmon. This is 213 grams. And I have a can already opened and drained. So drain it really, really well because you don't want too much moisture in there. So we're gonna put that into a bowl. Okay, there's the salmon. And now, you know, canned salmon has bones. So take a look at this, it has bones and skin in there. I always remove the skin because, well, first I don't like the way it looks. And also because if there's any toxins in the, in the fish, it's concentrated in the skin. So uh, it just, uh, I just don't like it. So I'm gonna take it off. You have to kind of break it apart to find the, uh, the skin. And so I try to find most of it. There's a little bit there, okay? And there's also bones in here. Now the bones are soft and they're cooked. So um, try to leave them in. You can mash them up. Let's see, see right here? There's, oh. Let me find some. Here, there's bones. See, there's bones right there. You leave them in. They're really, really soft, and they'll give you a lot more calcium in these, in these patties. So leave the bones in, and then mash up the salmon a little bit with a fork, and then we're going to start to add the ingredients. Okay. Now, we're going to add a quarter cup each of uh, onion. You can use red onion if you want, because the, the salmon's red. Quarter cup of uh, finely chopped onion and pepper, and about a tablespoon of parsley. And this all goes in to the salmon, right here. And then the only two more things, which is the egg, which I'll put in right now. One egg, extra protein from the egg too. I'll mix this up just a little. Look at that, oh, it's beautiful. All these colors, everything in here is just so healthy. All right, now we, can eat, we need about a half cup of uh, fresh breadcrumbs, not dry. And I usually make that with um, a slice of whole wheat bread. I'm using store-bought, Rudy's is the brand that has a, like a nice soft whole wheat. So try to find a soft whole wheat bread. It'll give you extra fiber for the patties. I take the crust off to keep it nice and soft. And I'm gonna make uh, fresh breadcrumbs in a little mini food processor. If you don't have one, uh, you can just chop the bread up really, really fine with a knife. So, now this is gonna be noisy, so hold on here. There's your fresh breadcrumbs. One big slice, about a half a cup, goes in. And that's all the ingredients. Now we're gonna mix this up and shape some patties. Okay. Okay, there it's all mixed. Now we're gonna make four patties. It's a little bit messy. Just kind of, don't, uh, I wouldn't press it down too much, keep them nice and light, just kind of uh, shape them and then I try to give them a little edge like that. I like them a little bit tall with kind of a flat edge like that. There, there's one. Second one coming. You know, I actually caught some salmon once we were on vacation in Alaska and we ate it, but we had to clean it first. That's why I like canned salmon. No eyeballs. Here's another one. Okay, that's two. Two more coming. Okay, here's the last one. This whole process, even with, uh, with chopping the onion and the parsley and everything, is barely 15 minutes. So, there's my four patties. Now, what we do is we're gonna cook them on, a, on a, the biggest frying pan you have and I have my big pan here. You preheat it to uh, somewhere between medium and medium high. Preheat it for about a minute, and then we'll cook the patties. Now we just need about a teaspoon of olive oil, just a little bit. Oops, there we go. Kind of swish it around a little bit. And then the best way to put the patties in is to use a spatula. Can I just kind of quickly get under it? Watch this. Quickly is better, like that. There's one. See? quickly under because otherwise you can kind of mess up with the shape a little bit, mess the shape up a little bit. Okay, quickly and with your hand, get it in there and one more. Okay, that's it. Now these are going to cook for uh, about five minutes, 
So like two and a half minutes per side, so I'll turn them over in a couple minutes. And that's it. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. You can kind of just, I would just, you, it's hard to kind of look under them. Just flip one over and see if it's ready, because you can keep turning them. That's not too bad. I think I'll give it another, you know, 30 seconds or so, just a little bit browner. All right, I waited a little bit. Let's try the next one. And again, the faster you can move through this, the better. Fast underneath. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Here comes the next one. Oh, the next one. Beautiful. So that's it. I don't even know. It's probably not even five minutes. I would st start checking them at about a minute and a half, two minutes, turn them over, and then uh, eat them. Look at these. They're gorgeous, and they're all done. Now, you just take them onto a, uh, your serving plate. There's one, and two, and three, and four. Look at these. I'm telling you, everything in these patties is so healthy. They've got protein. They've got omega-3 fatty acids, good for the heart to give you great skin, shiny hair. So I hope you'll try my quick and easy salmon patties. Hey, you know, if you had friends, if you knew a couple named Patty and Sam, you might wind up having this conversation. Yeah, where are we going for dinner? Salmon patties. No, no, not fish. We're, we're having chicken. Where? Salmon patties. N -n no, chicken. Salmon patties. No, listen to me. We're having chicken with salmon patty. No, we're not having both. Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs>